how to code our data into into our x of k so which were our complex frequ frequencies so how do we do that and the idea should should be quite familiar now so the x of x of k these are complex numbers So in other words, we can use, we can recycle quadrature amplitude modulation, recycle QAM. Because in QAM, we've done exactly that. So in QAM, we have a real part and we've got an imaginary part and we are placing our data at different amplitudes here. Remember, this could be, for example, 0, 0, and then this is here 0, 1, and then this is here 1, 1, and this is here 1, 0, for example. Um, and so in this case here, this would be would be for QAM. And so, and so very simple. So essentially for every, if, we, if I just draw here the um, inverse Fourier transform again, so the ID ft and so now we've got all these complex numbers coming in here so these are our frequencies so that's our x of k and um, every x of k is just coded via quam so we do that with with all the different x of k's and we are able to put loads of data in it here so we do this with with all with all inputs. So all x of k, and then obviously the output the output is our is our symbol then, which is having all the information of all these all these quam inputs here. So that that's again a very simple and ingenious idea, and we can directly recycle recycle our previous concepts that we just code our data as um, quam or we use um, 16 quam or 256 quam or essentially any other modulation scheme which is work which works in the complex plane anything that works works in the complex plane and that's um, a very simple concept and we can recycle all the stuff what we've learned before